What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to another player review. We're going to be doing a pack review for the Bruno Fernandez's card pack. Now, this is 1,500 coins. I'm going to give my Im impression of this, right? There is a couple of nice players in it, but is it worth 1,500 coins when you've got these club packs? If you are looking to, you know, if you're a newcomer, I always say this, lads, look. Everyone is entitled to spend their free money or their money freely. Everyone is entitled to spend their money how they want. You know, I don't judge anyone that buys coins. I don't judge anyone that doesn't buy coins. I mean, it's the same reason. It's the same way as somebody going in, you know, out for a 30 quid steak dinner or getting a McDonald's. You know what I mean? It, everyone is free to spend their money how they choose, right? But if you are, I definitely think if you are spending coins, you should be getting the most bang for your buck. If you are a newcomer to the game and you want to have a club pack that is going to be dominant from the get-go, the Bayern Munich pack, um, even the Barcelona pack, I would say with the form that it is, the Bayern Munich pack is always going to be the strongest. I did buy the Manchester United pack because uh, I am doing a past and present United legend team. Um but yeah, the Bruno Fernandes one, I mean, it's 1,500 coins, right? So we're going to go into that, and we're going to go straight in and see the players that are there. We are going to focus on Bruno. He is obviously the pick of them all, because even though, like, he is an 83 overall, he does have 35 levels, which he can go up. And you can check all these players and all the stats and everything over on eFootballDB.com. I'm going to be going over there in a second, because I know that, like, Bruno doesn't really need to be focused on too much because he's got incredible uh stats he has 35 levels to go up to so he is going to be a like a beast in this pack he's got b form it's a no-brainer if you are going buying this pack if you're a big bruno fan or you're looking for like a, a, an end game attacking midfielder and you just want an instant player that you can buy with coins rather than grinding an attacking midfielder or if you've missed out on some of the nominating contract guys or you've missed out on legends or you've missed out on your favorite amf like bruno is an absolute beast he goes up to about 95 overall he's got every player skill that you could possibly want he has unwavering form which some would say that he shouldn't probably have that. He's got really good kicking power and stamina off the rip. Low pass, loft the pass, brilliant off the rip. All you really need to do to focus up on Bruno here is pump his speed and acceleration up to about 78 and then the rest into dribbling and passing. That's all you need. You don't need a tackling, defensive, any of that. He's going to be an AMF. He can only play in that AMF role as you see there. So yeah, this guy is a no-brainer. So before we go on to the rest of the players, there is one or two here, I think, as well, that are just probably... I won't say, like, are worthless, but you're not going to really have them as endgame. And that would be Luke Shaw, Carvalho, and Rue Patricio, as well as Liao. Now, this Liao card here, I'm not even going to go into it in too much detail, because he is actually, even though he's on A form, right... And he has got super sub with this player card as well. I think the player card that they released in the AC Milan pack, if you are looking to get Liao, I would definitely recommend the AC Milan pack above this. It's nearly half the price and you get some beastly players in it as well as, you know, Liao and you get Tonali and you get a couple of others and there's a lot of them up on A rating. This guy is the real deal, man. He's absolutely incredible. Even though this guy has unwavering form, he is a beast as a center forward. He's got everything you could possibly want. 22 levels, he goes to about 92 overall. But... His other card is better. That's just my opinion on that. Similarly, you've got Luke Shaw, right? We're not going to focus too much on him. He has standard form, C rating, and his speed and acceleration combined that with his defensive awareness and only 25 levels to go, or 24 levels to go. He's not going to, again, he's not going to keep like other right backs that you could buy. Like you could literally buy Carvajal and like the standard version of Carvajal for quite cheap. Um, there's a lot of really good right backs that you could buy if you have a bit of GP, such as Trent or the standard version of Carvajal, as I said. Dest is quite good. There's a load of them. So I definitely would like not be buying these packs looking to get like a complete team out of it because you are going to have to build and pick and mix uh, a little like different around, right? And last but not least, then the other one that we're not, well, these two, Carvalho, we won't go into too much detail with him. Standard form, he is an orchestrator. I would like to see DMF as an anchorman there um, and a bit higher defensive awareness and aggression. But again, he's just a very kind of regular DMF. You could literally get Busquets, Tonali, uh, Barrios is the only DMF you could possibly want if you just want a pure stopper. And then this goalie, Ru Patricio, he's got a good few levels to go up, but like it's not going to be really something that um, you can't buy for GP, you know, like for very, very cheap. Like you can get a goalkeeper for 50k or 100k, like Ramsdale from, from Arsenal or something like that. So moving on to the pick of the bunch then, right? We are going to focus on, on Cristiano Ronaldo and we are going to go over to the players we'll just give a quick glance over him here and then we're going to go over to eFootballDB so Cristiano Ronaldo is up first 
86 overall, he starts off, he's got 18 levels to go, right? He's got nice kicking power, nice jumping, and this is what he trains up to, right? So you've got 89 shooting overall, you've got 90 offensive awareness, 88 finishing, 80 speed, 80 acceleration, 90 kicking power, and 85 jump. Ronaldo's not going to be like a turn and run and gun. Like he's he's basically just going to be like kind of a slower version of Haaland. That's kind of how you have to use him if you want to get the best out of him. So yeah, I definitely think that he is a very, very good card, even though he does not have unwavering form. He is definitely a very, very good card to have. Next up, we have got Ruben Diaz, who's one of my favorite players in the game defensively. Absolute beast. A beast of a man at the back. Really, really good player unwavering form every player skill that you could want from a defender and uh yeah he is probably i would say one of the meta center backs at the moment even though he's only on c form i think him rudiger up in meccano koulibaly alaban van dyke they're kind of the five and kunde maybe as well they're kind of the five to six that i would really really recommend um for any budget and if you have upper end of budget as well but again looking at ruben diaz here like he's got some really nice base level stats but he actually excels when you train him up Speed and acceleration at 70, I think that's enough if you're playing him in a back four or a back um, three, uh, or a back five, sorry. For a back three, you need that speed a little bit higher, I would say. So you could take a few points away from speed and just put it to acceleration or vice versa. Um, defensively, absolute monster as well. 93 awareness, 89 tackling and 93 aggress aggression. So don't need to say too much more about that. He is like he's just insane man he's so good his man city teammate then obviously is bernardo silva now bernardo silva right and joao felix i'll show you the two of those off the rip right because they're very 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 similar players almost too similar that you're not going to really want one over the other or vice versa but bernardo silva is a little bit slower with a little less um dribbling and then Joe Felix has got no real like advantage with the passing. So they're kind of similar players. If you look here at Felix's speed, it is higher than Silva's. If you look at his dribbling, it is higher um, with the tight possession and the dribbling. But the ball control of Silva is a little higher there. And then obviously the offensive awareness is better on Silva's card. The low pass and the lofty pass is better on Silva's card compared to Felix. But very similar players. The only difference is is that Bernardo Silva does have unwavering form, so he's going to be more often than not up, right? He is going to be up more often than not, and he does have that B form, whereas Felix, Felix is on C form at the moment. So, as I said, when you do have Bernardo Silva on B form, he is going to make a big difference when you're playing him on the pitch, if, if that makes sense, because he's going to be more up than not more often than not. So last but not least, we've got our center back uh, Pepe and our right wing Rafinha, right? So Pepe, again, he is an absolute colossus at the back, lads. He's super slow, right? He's slow as a snail, but he's a monster in the tackle. He's got insane stats. If you look here, you can see 91 defensive awareness, 90 tackling, 99 aggression, and 95 defensive engagement. I would definitely recommend checking him out. I've actually played with Pepe a good bit on my other profile for practice and just building squads and stuff and testing out players. And he is a monster, lads. You won't be let down by Pepe. Him and Thiago Silva are just really, really good in the game. They've got really nice player ID, even though player ID is not really in it. He does have nice player animations every now and again with the aggressiveness that his card has. And then last but not least, we have Rafinha, who is a traditional kind of... Yeah, very simple winger. Like, there's not much to him. Speed, acceleration, and dribbling. That's what he has. Good balance, good stamina, good kicking power, and good offensive awareness. He's got a load of tricks up his sleeve as well. He is a good dribbler, but I think if you are going to skip out on this pack, I definitely would recommend getting Dembele on the left or right, Anthony, um, maybe Diaz or Neymar if you can spread the budget there. But yeah, so that is it for me, lads. I will be back quite soon. That is it for the Bruno Fernandes pack let me know if you spin or skip that if you're interested in that pack i mean for me i think there is better packs available there i definitely think that some of the other reviews that i have coming are going to be more advantageous to you if you are a newcomer or if you're looking to just strengthen your squad as a veteran to get into like the top divisions but yeah let me know what you guys think i'll be back quite soon peace